good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Day of Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have sort of a secret package right here, and it's kind of funny the way this played out, where it may be funny, it may not be funny, especially after the money I have spent this month in figures and experiences and a lot of good stuff going on. But anyways, man, I gotta move that so I can back this up a little bit. But as you guys can see here, we have this pretty big envelope, I'd say. What? It's about, it's about what, 10 inches long, maybe? eight? Uh, yeah, about 11, maybe 10. It could be a foot. Regardless of the fact, you guys know that uh, on My Damn Hauls episodes, this isn't technically a My Damn Hauls episode. This is kind of me showing this off because I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this. You can let me know down in the comment section below. But but I was pretty much just browsing the internet, you know, just, just on Instagram, going through stories, you know, going through stories. And you know how people post stuff for sale on their story? Well, I believe it was my boy Elite Maniac actually posted a bunch of fodder and like WWE action figure parts and all kinds of stuff in this little lot. And he said 25 shipped and it looked like a lot of ish there. Like I was looking at a lot of ish and you guys know that I like to, you know, purchase things. Like I, it was just dropping the, dropping the ball, right? I was like, you know, it looked like a, a good deal there and we're going to find out today if that was indeed the case. Did I get scammed? Did I get scaboozled? Not necessarily scammed. Like, I, 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 everything was in the picture. It's not like he didn't send me what was in the photo. It's more of, did I get a good deal or not? Did I make the right decision? We're going to find that out here today, man. Have you ever just been scrolling through the internet, find something, and then just buy it straight up? That's kind of what kind of deal we're in, and we're going to find out if it was a correct deal or not. I felt like I could use some of this stuff, and now it's here. So, I, I used to buy fodder lots all the time, given why I have, like, seven cases of fodder and i've never i haven't used all of it obviously but we've made a lot of customs on the channel and stuff like that so i feel like i've gotten my money's worth out of that big lot i remember buying like how my fodder lot even started is i bought like just an ass ton of wwe and, and action figure fodder in this big lot for like 150 bucks but it was like a ton of stuff bro wish i was making videos back then that's kind of what kick-started my fodder collection here but anyways man we're gonna dive into this stuff it should be pretty fun we're just gonna take each item out of the baggie one at a time here and we're gonna find out if indeed i made a good deal or not so Let's shut the hell up and dive into it, man. First up, we have a Scorpio Sky. Wow, it's actually pretty excellent right there. We have an Unrivaled Series 5 Scorpio Sky. He even has, he has everything. He literally has, this is half a figure right here. So, I mean, if you were to buy this figure at retail, the full figure would be around 20 to 25 bucks. And we got half the figure right there, which I guess the worth of this would be, what, 10 to 12 bucks? Eight, maybe? So there's that. Even has the accessory right there. So that's pretty cool. We have a Miz piece. And this is actually an Elite Miz that I, I've never owned before. I've never owned this Miz piece, so maybe I could complete it. Maybe I could put it all together, get all the parts, and restore this Miz Elite, because this is one that I don't have. But what else do we got in here? We have a Legends Bob Orton head sculpt. We got, okay, we have like a long trench coat deal. This is basically worthless. We have the Zack Ryder ringside exclusive edge heads figurehead thing. Uh, there's another one of those. That's cool. Actually, I have an extra. Maybe make a fix up or custom one day. We have the upper part of a carrying cross elite. That's kind of cool there. Again, man, I, I couldn't tell you what I'm going to use all this stuff for. It was just, you know, you, you see something happening, you're like, you know what, I'm gonna make a deal. And that's kind of what I did, and hopefully everything pans out. So, so far, so good. We have a lot of stuff in this bag. Next up, we have a Series 3 Young Bucks vest entrance gear. We got an X-Pac head sculpt. Pretty solid. We have another worthless trench coat. I don't know, man. These rubber accessories are for the birds, man. We have... Okay, we got, uh, we got a, a green open knee pad, a Chad Gable knee pad, and an Alberto Del Rio boot. I mean, that that made the, if anything else made the, the envelope worth it, these three by itself just equaled 25 bucks. What else we got? Oh, snap. We got a lot of stuff going on here. Sammy Guevara head. We have an AEW microphone. We have a Legends Bob Orton cast slash forearm sleeve. You could use two of these and make like a, a sick little custom there, I think. Like, you know, like a little entrance gauntlets. That'd be kind of badass. Didn't even think of that. Now I have two of them. We'll see what the future holds. We got a Legends Triple H thigh and and a, I think that's an elbow pad, I think, from like Orange Cassidy or Hangman. We got, we have a TNA Impact vest shirt deal. It looks like it could be a vest this way, like, you know, like, like this. But it also looks like it could be a shirt. We got, okay, so we got a Bob Orton right lower leg and a Chad Gable right lower leg with some, some ish on it. I don't trust that. I don't trust substances. Elite 75 Pete Dunn entrance vest. We got, what else we got in here? We have an Evan Bourne head. Very nice. Is that another Sammy Guevara head or is that the same one? I think it's the same one. Oh snap, we got Bob Orton boxing gloves. So we have an extra pair of gloves. We have the SCU Frankie Kazarian Amazon two-pack jacket. That is something I don't have loose actually. We have a other half of the Young Bucks entrance vest. We got a, holy 
hell? Is this a TNA Toy Biz Rhino Head Sculpt? Very cool. We got ourselves a Bobby Fish Basic. Pretty sick, you know? I, I, you know, it's you're not going to use a lot from this thing, right? You're not going to use a whole lot from this thing, but this could be a crowd member. I mean, I could throw some shit together and make this guy a crowd member, and that'll add some depth to the crowd. We have a Scorpio Sky Hand. We have a Four Horsemen Ric Flair Ultimate Edition Hand. We have, holy hell, we have an Elite 36 Stardust without the legs. Kind of wild. I've owned this figure like four times, and I always either sell it or turn it into a custom. This may be the one that I actually keep, you know, uh, mint or whatever. All I gotta do is find some boots and legs. That, that shouldn't even be that hard. I think I could put this guy together. He may not have all the designs, but that's a pretty damn good find. It looks really good, too, man. Holy hell. What a classic. We have carrying cross lower leg. We got the other Scorpio Sky hand. We have a Kyle O'Reilly basic. I literally, you, you want to know what's up? I literally bought this whole lot. I bought this whole lot for this basic right here. I saw these knee pads, and I saw the Undisputed Air here in the Kyle O'Reilly uh, knee pad right there, and I saw the rest of the stuff, and I said, whatever I get extra is just bonus, and I just bought it for this basic just because I knew that I could get the knee pads and also get a bunch of other ish for 25 bucks. That was kind of my thinking there, so welcome to why I bought this. Literally that basic right there, which is insane. We have another green knee pad and a Miz head sculpt. What's wild is people use this for an Okada head. I've seen people turn this into Okada, and you can kind of see the likeness right there. Kind of, you know, a little repaint action. You could fix that guy up. We have the other half of the Alberto Del Rio boots. We got, okay, we got some other mini stuff going on. We have the other carrying cross leg, a Legends Bobby Heenan head. I think this is the Legends Bobby Heenan head, a figure I never bought. We have black wrist tape, black hand tape. I don't know what figure this is from. Can you guys tell what figure this is from? I have no idea. We have an unrivaled Cody belt, and then we have the Elite 90 two Ric Flair yellow boots for future Ric Flair customs that I'm not going to make. We have a X-Puck torso. Looks like somebody damaged during customization. And we have the other Triple H thigh from the, you know, the legends there. We got... Okay, so we have the other arm that we're looking for. The other Ric Flair boot. We have an X-Pac DX leg. I could use these kick pads for a guy. And then we have a Sammy Guevara unrivaled crotch right there. I mean, pretty... I don't know, man. I, I think we've made a pretty good deal here. Okay, so here's the Bobby Fish knee pad. So now I have both pairs of knee pads. And we have the other hand of the Ric Flair Ultimate Edition. We got a random... I think this is a Sammy Guevara thigh. I can tell by the peg right there, I think. And then we have a Pete Dunn head for a future fix-up slash custom. What else do we have here? We have, oh my god, we have the Kurt Hawkins now. So now we have both Edgehead's heads from the three-pack RSC or three-in-one figure, and then there's the back half of that torso for the X-Pac. We also have a Holy God in Heaven. Okay, this is actually, I can't tell, I think this is a Cody Rhodes torso. I mean, I guess it could be, it could be Finn Balor, it could be Cody Rhodes, it could be Evan Bourne. I don't think it's Evan Bourne. It looks to have the matte feel, so I bet it's Cody Rhodes or it's Finn Balor, but there is some damage right there. So this is actually like pretty much unusable. Yeah, the bottom heart. I'd have to find a new bottom half. And yeah, it's pretty fucked up. I don't know. Maybe we could make something of that. We got a holy God in heaven. Now we have a, it looks like this was going to be like a makeshift Adam Cole Undisputed Era War Games gear. Yeah, that's exactly what this was going to be. Okay, so that's what we're messing with. You guys can see it is pretty loose. It is, it's basically just a Bo Dallas torso it looks like onto the Kyle O'Reilly crotch I think that's what that is the Kyle O'Reilly camo elite figure pretty stiff let yeah I mean it, it, it could work for something you know we could we could take that torso off we could play around with it but we have an extra armband there an extra elbow pad and some white wrist tape Adam Cole arm so that's pretty cool we have a few more pieces in here we got a Sammy Guevara thigh a WCW microphone a Ricky the Dragon Steamboat fan takeover head I think that's what that is we got the the other X-Pac leg, the other Bob Orton lower leg, a Sammy Guevara. No, this may be somebody else. I can't tell if that's Sammy. I think that's Sammy Guevara, but the neck peg is snapped. We have the other black knee pad, and then we I mean, we basically have a Sammy Guevara figure without the arms, and this upper torso is popped, but you could actually do this. Pop a new torso in there if it was available, but yeah, it is what it is, man. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta get over things, but uh, we have a Ray Phoenix leg. We have the Bobby Fish kick pad that I could pop on there for the crowd member, and then we have a Legends Triple H head sculpt that is clearly F. Yeah, look at that eyeball. A little droopy there, Brad. What else is there in here? We got the other Ray Phoenix leg, the other Chad Gable leg. 
just dump the rest out right here. Okay, last little items here. We have the two kick pads that go to that Miz figure, so I don't have to track that down. They are elite right there, so we need some, what, we need to get some knee pads. We need the, I did, were the leg? No, the upper thighs were part of it, but other Sammy Guevara leg, other kick pad, and then we have the other wristband to the boxing glove, and we have the other boxing glove, so I don't know. Was it worth it? $25 shipped, man. It wasn't $25 plus shipping. It was literally $25 shipped to my door for all of this garbage right here. Was it worth it? I think at the end of the day, it was worth it. Like, you got some pretty good pieces right here, uh, enough to, to get some customs out of, enough to pair together. You know, there may be some items on here that I could flip, put together, make my money back, possibly a profit. That's not what the reasoning was. I just felt like it was a good deal to go ahead and grab some of these items. Um, again, I literally bought this for the Kyle O'Reilly Basic that I think is at my Big Lots. So it was either go to my Big Lots, spend 10 to 15 bucks to get the Kyle O'Reilly Basic with the knee pads, and I get the head sculpt. So I get the knee pads, an extra crowd member, and the head for 10 to 15 bucks. Or I could pay an extra 10 and get all this ish in there and not get the head sculpt, but get the knee pads I want, plus all this other extra ish that I could possibly use. I think the gems of this, the gems of this. Okay, so first of all, the Kyle O'Reilly Basic is, is what I liked most of all. But we also have this Stardust fodder. I think this is valuable. You have your Carrion Cross fodder, which I also thought was a was a pretty good piece in this lot. We have the Miz pieces, the Miz little kick pads and uh, crotch piece right here. We also have the Scorpio Sky that I thought was really valuable there. We have the Pete Dunn head, all the, all the Bob Orton accessories, so the lower legs to the Bob Orton and the boxing gloves. I thought those were very valuable as well. The Bobby Fish knee pads were also very valuable. And then uh, everything, oh yeah, the cast. The cast from the Bob Orton was also valuable. I think if I put together some parts, we have a bunch of figures here, man. Like, at least we're close to it. These kick pads for this x pac are actually very valuable as well. So, I think we can get a lot of usage out of this. Great knee pads, great boot options, some kick pads, some head sculpt, and plenty of other great ish in this lot. So, I think at the end of the day, we didn't get scammed. We made a good deal. You guys can let me know what your thoughts are, though, down in the comments section. I think it was a fantastic deal. I didn't have any issues with it. Thought it was pretty brilliant, but that is pretty much going to wrap up our video, man. Just wanted to uh, unbox this with you guys, show it off a little bit, and uh, see if you guys thought I made a good deal, or if you thought it was a bummy purchase. Also, do you guys uh, do that? You know, do you, do you stroll through, find a deal, and just kind of take your chances on it, or do you, you know, map it out thing by thing before you purchase? It literally just scrolled by my story, and I said, screw it. I'm going to purchase this, and then, you know what happened? You crossed the line!